Okay, so today we're going to talk about our personal narrative. Uh, a personal narrative is just a story written in first or third person, and it's a story about something that happened to you. Most of you already picked a topic. If you haven't picked a topic yet, or having trouble figuring out what you're going to write about, come see me. I'll give you a list of ideas that you can choose from, but pretty much anything goes as long as it's a story about yourself, and it's in first or second, first or third person. All right, so this is the example of a personal narrative that we've been using for the past few days. This is a great personal narrative, and if you haven't read it yet, I'd recommend you pause this video, read through it, and it'll give you an idea of what a really good personal narrative looks like. All right, so today we're going to focus on pre-writing a personal narrative. And to do that, we're just going to go briefly over a few things that a pre-write should have. First of all, we need to break our story up so it has a beginning, middle, and end. Okay, then we need to have each paragraph focus on one main idea. And then once we do that, just like all pre-writes, we're going to come up with five to seven details about each main idea. Now, you should got a worksheet that looks like this. So if you fill this worksheet out, you already have your three main ideas. Your three main ideas come from your first rising action, your second rising action, and your climax. Now, if you chose to use a third rising action, that means you'll have four main ideas and four circles and four body paragraphs. But remember that number three is optional. Okay, so you don't have to have four paragraphs, but you do need to have at least three paragraphs. If you do have three rising actions and a climax, when you're creating your details and you find that you're having a tough time coming up with five to seven details from one of these, this would be a good time to combine number three with one of these other ones so you can come up with more details. So again, this is where you're four main ideas come from. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're working backwards from that example that we showed at the beginning of this video. If you notice, I've filled out this worksheet using that example. And now we're going to make a pre-write using that example. So let's take a look at that first paragraph. So this is our first paragraph of our example that we showed first. And after looking at this paragraph and looking at the story in general, it looks like we're going to break it up into the first day, the second day, and third day. So that would be our three main ideas. So again, our first main idea is our first day. And now I'm trying to create five to seven details. So as I'm reading through this detail, I can see that my first detail is Brad gets off the plane. Then my second detail is going to have fun. Next detail is they play video games, then they watch TV, and they sleep on the floor. So there's, those are my five details for that paragraph. Then we're moving on to the next paragraph. The next paragraph, our main idea is it's the second day, and I'm looking for details. So my first detail is they go to the movies, they eat, they nap, Dad tells us about Disneyland, and we scream our heads off. Okay, I could even put in there that we need to go to bed early or something like that if I want to add a few more details to my circle. Okay, next we go to the last paragraph. Just like the other paragraphs, this one's based on the third day that our character spends with Brad. And then we start thinking of details. One detail is we get up at 6 a.m. Mom lets us go home. Mom gave us some money. We went to Splash Mountain. And we went on every ride. So a completed pre-write for this story would look something like that. 